this just turn off? <laughs> is this not been charging? Uh, no, it, it said green just now. Press the power button. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, I yeah, think it's, 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 it's going. It's, yep, I see a stream going. Or I see it on the mic. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Testing one, two, one, two. Test, test, hey, one, two. People are already Testing. watching. Daniel Craig, King, <coughs> Farrell. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's. Can you see if there's sound? Let's see. Can you guys hear me? Let's see. Can we hear ourselves? Testing one, two. Test, test, one, can. two. Testing one, two. Hello? Can you guys hear us? Okay. Yes. yes. They can. Okay, sweet. Hello? Can you guys hear us? Okay. Yes. Yeah, Are you posting on Instagram? Yeah. yeah. Let's. Wait, is there an echo? Yeah. Well, he needs to mute his. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you posting on Facebook too? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, we're all here. We're all here. Look That's at this. why we're doing the live stream. <laughs> Wait, do you want me to do Facebook too? Yeah, post it on Facebook okay. so people on Facebook. So hello, Luke. Hello, Clara. The unknowns. How are y'all doing? Hey, it's Thomas. Loud yes, clear. yes, Great. yes. The whole half stone. Thomas. It is Thomas. We've got a new episode finished. It technically can go up. Uh, oh no! It's already out for patrons right now. Mm -hmm. We got an early release trailer that's ready. Yes, yeah. we're about to. Let's just hit the. Let's, let's put it out there. Should we? Yeah. The trailer? Yeah. Let's wait till it. Oh, let's wait. Till yeah, it we'll, yeah. We'll. Yeah. The, the early release trailer, trailer will go out right after right. this. And, stream, so. and that, that's the preview that uh, for the next episode. That we yeah. Andrew's got a new phone. Oh, Brian's got a new yeah, phone but... too. Oh yeah! It's like we're finally in the. <laughs> I don't. Do they know like how difficult it was to get a hold of Andrew, and it still is. But yeah, at least the reason now isn't because his phone's dead constantly. I need to turn my sound on. <laughs> I don't know why I just didn't log in. Okay. <laughs> Pop out trap. Right there, right there. Yeah. Let's look at shape good. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Oh, I can make it much bigger. <laughs> make it real good. Okay, so we don't have a goal for today's stream, but if you guys have questions, yeah. feel free to ask. We should talk about the road trip, though. We talk yeah, a we can about the road, road trip. trip. We can talk <laughs> about whatever. When was, <laughs> let me see. When was the last time we actually posted? Oh, I guess if you've been following my vlog, then you know what we've done on the road trip. But as far as the channel's gone, mm. they William don't know anything King, from the road trip. Back right? for another stream, I see. Uh, so Point Magoo, that was on the road trip, or right before when yes. you two went together, right? Exactly. You want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Um, Point Magoo was actually after me and Thomas's short California road trip that we took before you all got out here. And it's uh, a hike in Malibu, in L.A., basically. Uh, super steep, but you go up to the top of this peak. You get to see the ocean, um, this nearby Air Force or Navy base. Beautiful hills. Check out that side video if you haven't yet. Yeah, super fun. Yeah, super we got cool. to see. Somebody one. said it wasn't a battleship, it was a cruiser. No, and that's my destroyer own. Destroyer now. That's right. my own fault because I specifically asked Tim Lawson, who had visited. You know, he's part of the Navy, uh -huh, uh -huh. and he gave me the right answer. <laughs> I wrote uh -huh. it down, and then I just said it wrong, and that will be. I mean, forever immortalized as incorrect. <laughs> In your defense, like a yeah. battleship, a cruiser, and a destroyer are the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like a destroyer, battleship. Right. So. Johnny Casino, thank you so much for your kind comments. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, Thomas is, is Thomas the only one that can grow a full beard? Yes. No, uh, well, yeah. between me, Andrew, and Thomas, he's got the most lush and full <laughs> one. And when me and Andrew grow beards, they look terrible. I was going to say, I don't know if Robbie can. I'm utterly incapable. I thought you were going to say so. between... Uh, me, Andrew, and Robbie, we grow the same amount of hair as Thomas. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe no. if you put them all together, we could make... It's like a Voltron beard. Like, <laughs> I'll grow the sides. Hold on. I'll grow the bottom. I can actually grow one instantly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This was a prop instantly. from earlier today that you will see soon. And it's... Uh, and yes, cool. I cut my hair. Daniel Kang, man, you're like... Two or three months late. Please do not trip on the Ethernet cable, Andrew. Oh. The Ethernet cable. The uh, Ethernet cable. Uh, Jan D has yet to find time to watch a new episode. Well, thank you for being a patron. I'm glad that... Uh, uh, yeah. talk, wait, Faisal wait. Yohari says, talk a little about your video gear. Do you still use the GH5? Well, let's do this one first. Oh, sure. Yeah. So let's answer uh, John's question here. He says, Andrew, how did you get started with combining photography and backpacking adventures? So well, this was, I mean, this was all of us, essentially. So uh, any of us can answer this is what I mean. Well, what it started out with was probably the first time we went to <laughs> Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes, and we took cheesy pictures of ourselves, 
and then we turn those pictures into like a home video. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's when we just started doing it. And then it gradually grew mm. after that. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how much yeah. that looks like a Civil War beard, too. <laughs> like the Abe Lincoln beard. I need like mutton chops. Yeah, you, you need a... You need a yeah, I don't know. It's like a, Four score yeah. seven years ago. It also looks like oh, the, um, that one Muppet. The, <laughs> Which one? The, uh, wild. The tr- wild Thing? Wild Thing, yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Wild Animal or... Oh, the uh, Animal. Animal. Not the, yeah, yeah, the red I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you still use the GH5? What does it deal with focusing? We still use the GH5. The GH5 has great focusing. You just say it has not as good auto-focusing as like, the Oh, Sony yeah, thing. it has terrible auto-focus. It has great manual focus. But the autofocus is real bad, so you don't use it. <laughs> Andrew, you beautiful, beautiful bearded baby. <laughs> <laughs> the weather here is hot and muggy today. That was nice. Yeah. And stormy. And, and stormy. rainy because yeah. we tried to film stuff and rainy. Yeah, of course, today. of course the day we're filming outside like half of the day, it needs to storm. So James King, that's uh desire to break out a paraglider from the top of something. It I feel like we felt that before Breath of the Wild even. But yeah. I will say, after playing yeah. that, I kept looking for little Korok rocks. <laughs> I think I saw your comment, actually, James, on our video. I can't remember if I actually finished typing my comment before I hit send. But, yeah, I, I did comment on, or I did read your comment, and I was thinking, I constantly think about it. And I actually make a lot of uh, comparisons to playing Breath of the Wild now when I'm looking at scenery and stuff. <laughs> What's that single mom comment about? It's hard to be a single mom when you have no kids and you're a dude. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> um, uh, are we going to Gettysburg? That's that's we, that's like a meme I, from Reddit. I've seen that one. My uh, my desire to go to Gettysburg is very strong, and I have a plan. And all I need is to do some more research on how to do my best to historically hike, but without actually like. I can't. I don't think I can do it. Historically, completely accurately, but we can definitely try. And I love it'd Gettysburg. Be, it'd be so cool to use some of the equipment you have that that oh, you're yeah. willing to yeah. absolutely to get dirty. Punch. Not to Can't destroy, recall get dirty. how you guys wa- filter water. Do you still use a pump filter? If not, I'm interested in if you use a Sawyer as a gravity filter. We use a pump filter. Yeah, we use that and pump filter. Yep. Yeah. Mm, okay. What was the hardest hike and why? Oops. Uh, smokiness. <laughs> Pan- <laughs> Pancho actually, <laughs> Andrew's girlfriend is here. So, <laughs> yeah, the Smokies. I would say, I would say the Smokies. Uh, do you all use the camera gear for scenic shots and things, or is one the main Girlfriend's cameraman? <laughs> uh, it's usually me and Andrew doing the camera. Are the four of you gay or what? <laughs> Why your girlfriends never appear on the videos respectfully? Uh, none of us are gay. Uh, Andrew's girlfriend's actually in the apartment right now. And uh, his other, his side girlfriend's right there. <laughs> Boyfriend. Uh, we're good, Christopher Williams. Will we ever go to Arches? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. No questions about where are we going. We love those questions. We'd like to go everywhere. But it's always the same answer. Yeah. We'll go it, there at some point. It's where, not that we don't want to answer them. It's just that you're, you're better using your question on something else. Yeah. Where, <laughs> where, where won't you go? Um... Mm. Mm. Mount Everest. <laughs> Definitely not Mount Everest. Uh, Iraq? I guess. I, I, I would have feel full of ticks. Uh, you know, right uh, like, that's kind of a general one. <laughs> <laughs> who's the brains, uh, Thomas? What? It says, who's the brains in this operation? <laughs> Got a... I'm not... Here, this is, this is the scenario. I am not the most creatively let's inclined just, person. Let's just do it like this, and we'll just hit get them as they come. If we miss some, then okay. Just, yeah, sure. If I'm, we miss your question, just repost it. Wait, Jackson County? That's where airstreams are from, isn't it? You'll never know. Airstreams are from somewhere in Ohio, but I was just reading um, about that. Water bladder. I think all of us are wa- pretty much converted to water bladders at this mm-hmm. point. I do mm-hmm. carry like to carry a Nalgene for when I'm <laughs> cooking and think. stuff because it's just much easier to have to pour water out of there. Have you ever shared a sleeping bag? Nope. <laughs> I was wondering, can you well, make two yeah, sleeping bags yeah. into one? Like if you attach oh, one zipper to the they other, should have maybe. Like but that. there was a time when um, we were at North Manitou, oh. and oh. I was in my tent, and Andrew was in a tarp, and that that night it stormed like crazy. Okay, so this is a, it's really complicated how this ended up. But I had given my sleeping bag to Robbie because your girlfriend was cold, right? right. 
Yeah. So I was like, oh, it's hot enough that I can just sleep through the night without a sleeping bag. And then it stormed that night. It, the temperature oh, right. fell yeah, to like yeah. 50 or 45 degrees. And then I literally had to get out of the tent, go over to Andrew's tarp across the field and wake him up and be like, hmm. I, we need to like do something mm-hmm. because I can't like fall asleep. So we basically stuck our air mask together and we just had to open his sleeping bag up all the way and kind of use it as like a regular blanket. Someone says, I'd love to see a girl's perspective on backpacking. If you actually watch the, um, what is it, Allegheny and New River Gorge episodes, um, Brian's friend Nicole is there, and she is a girl. <laughs> Tim Lawson, is that the same Tim Lawson? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you have, oh, you have bad back. I think a hammock is so much better to sleep in. Amazing quality of sleep. <laughs> By the way, Tim, hopefully you have a good speedy recovery. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm very sorry, Tim. I, I misquoted you. In the mount in the Point Magoo, uh, in the Point Magoo video. That's my fault. That's uh, you know I, I deserve every comment that we get about yeah. how that's a destroyer and not a battleship. Uh, real quick, I saw one that we can actually answer. Luke lately asked, he's 23 and can't rent a car. You actually can rent a car because we've done that before. You just have to pay extra. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, if you're yeah. under 25, you have to pay yeah. extra. Fat Madamus R, thank you for joining us. I'll say, I'll say one thing about uh, renting a car under 25. If you have USAA insurance, you can rent a car for un- if you're under 25 at, uh, at no extra cost. Yeah. Hi, but, Monica. Thanks for watching, and thanks for uh, catching our live stream. Rest right. mic for DSLR Rode Video Mic Pro. Ryland Villarreal said he had a dream that we filmed an episode in his house without his consent. But the food, <laughs> we made food and we were generally nice people. <laughs> well, I guess that sounds that's good. Like, that sounds like something we would do if we did do that. Uh, yeah. uh, I like yellow dolphins. <laughs> Quick comment. Thomas, how did you grow such a sexy beard? Just the, ro- the roguing. You, you <laughs> go in front of the mirror and you go, <laughs> No, I, I'll say I used to just grow it all the way out. I didn't know how to trim it at all. And now I've, I've gone to barbers and they've like, I've interrogated them every time. How did you do this? Like, what are you doing? And so now I'm starting to try and do it a little bit more on my own, but uh, I still go to a barber now and again just to make sure that my lines are even. Because mm-hmm. it's not quite even here. Uh, Zeos386, you actually might enjoy one of the road trip episodes because we do do some hiking in Texas. Yep. NES or SNES? SNES, SNES. no question. Yeah. The library is just so much. <laughs> NES is great, but the games are just like slightly too primitive. Yeah. But I SNES totally agree. has that combination of retro, but still. I, good enough to actually still play today. It's, I like, it's oh, good. I was just saying, it's like whenever you know how a lot of indie games are pixel art, right? If it's the pixel art where they try to like appeal to the eight bit style, it uh, appeals yeah. to me much less than when it's like a bit more fancy pixel art, like SNES style. Anyways, I like the here. Here's one for you guys. Major Nerd Pie asks, who is the most talkative during a group during a trip? The most talkative? Talkative. Because mm. I think I have my answer. But I'm well, what you guys if we're talking about in front of the camera, it's usually Andrew and Robbie. Mm. Yeah, just in general, on in camera, general. in general, definitely the two of you, yeah. but off camera. Hmm. There's Thomas, I guess. I was going to say you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess it could be me too, yeah. It's I would definitely, definitely say me, me or Thomas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Thomas <laughs> at night, like, he's the most talkative. <laughs> <laughs> he just Thomas, cracked Thomas jokes. has the, lo- the most quips to say about, <laughs> about random things. If, so. you ever, if you ever get to get a chance to watch one of our bloopers, which are on Patreon, which you should check out, by the way. Um, <laughs> Nice. Patreon.com <laughs> slash adventure. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to brag here, but I make up about 50% of all the members. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Robbie, what brand of pants are your hiking um, pants? So I'm either wearing Outlier pants. If you go to outlier.nyc, they sell a bunch of really expensive clothes. <laughs> and then the other one I've been wearing recently is the Westcomb pants. Hmm. And Westcomb is some brand that sent us a bunch of clothes to try out. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, they, they used to be part of um, some other big one that you'd recognize, at, like at, at Atacala or something like that. Oh, and then okay. they branched off to be, because they were exporting all of their stuff to China while Westcombe broke off and said, no, we want to keep everything in Canada. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or something like that. That's the pants smart. I'm wearing right now are Outlier. It's an Outlier Climber pants. What are, uh, Sanwar1 mm-hmm. asks, what are some of your non travel related hobbies? I used to do a lot of drawing and art. Uh, I like growing vegetable gardens, which I'm currently <laughs> doing effortlessly. <laughs> He's got a nice, lots of stuff going in there. Like when I walked in there, it smelled like a I wish one of your hobbies, musty greenhouse. <laughs> I, I wish one of your hobbies would be cleaning up. But, yeah. <laughs> um, for me, my me hobbies. <laughs> some of my hobbies are um, playing guitar, 
and I like to play Magic the Gathering. That's that's the two major ones, I guess. I like, I'm really in a Star Wars kick right now, so when I'm not hiking or cleaning or doing school stuff, then I'm trying to catch up on all the Star Wars. Mm. All the Star Wars is. Samwar knows all my hobbies. Already, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Osmotar, the study of wild plants has been going decently, but I, I do need to focus on that a little more this season. So. Uh, William McKean, I would say that Right now, yes, plans for the solar eclipse, but that's so far ahead that, I mean... It is passing through uh, here, which is super nice. Yeah, it's going to be here, where we are, so there, I guess, mm -hmm. basically, there's no way we couldn't do it, mm -hmm. you know. Anna Ford, thank you for your comment. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost Stars, uh, I think, is one of the best books to have come out since the new canon. <clears throat> it was one of my favorite ones. I made them listen to part of it on the road trip back. I don't think we finished it, though. Brian and I finished it. I heard Lost part Stars. of it. Yeah, yeah. you heard it was good. A good chunk good. of it. Yeah. It's my favorite besides Thrawn. Thrawn was pretty good. TM Way 84, I wish I could give you a better answer because I actually had problems with my boots recently. They got a hole in them, but I he, also left he, them. He lost them. I, I left them in Zion National <laughs> Park somehow. I'm really absent minded, but uh, so in my case, I'm going to have to get a boot replacement. But if you wanted to find out more, I would actually I'd go to like REI or a similar company and just talk yeah. to the people there. I bet they'll know a lot, even if you don't end up doing it there. If you're talking about just the rubber part, then I guess it depends on how much your boots cost and if you think you've gotten enough out of them. And and what sort of hikes you're going to be doing, like yeah. super rigorous mountain mountaineering, I'd yeah. get a new pair or something. That's a uh, major nerd pie. Does funding for trips ever get difficult? That's kind of, I mean... Not really, because most of the ones we go to are like really close, and it's just yeah. gas money and ramen noodle money. So. But but you know, I think the pro I think long term though, we would like to do more, but we can't do more than maybe one or two a month because I, we're yeah. you know we're we're using yeah what money we have from the channel to go fund these. So that's mm -hmm. why we can only do like a couple trips to the west or yeah. So what I'd say is it's not difficult to fund the trips. It's just that we don't do the trips because we. We're not sure if we can fund them. Yeah, it's like it's not like we're gonna go do a trip without making sure we have the financial means. Right. To, all, yeah. all those like but, ones out west were only possible because of you guys. Like yeah, all but, of your support. Yeah. So yeah. so like the more support we get, we want. Well, we we want to start oh, going. Whoa. Hey, Sean. Whoa. Hiking with Sean. How Thank do you, you. Hiking with Sean. Wow. Shawnee National Forest. How do you all feel about snake encounters on the trail? Yay or nay? Herp or run? <laughs> Love your videos, <laughs> fellas. Um, should we just each I, answer it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I, so go ahead. Okay, so recently I was in Manistee with Nicole, and I can tell you Nicole's feelings on dan <laughs> danger noodles are that she does not like them. Every time we saw, they were just garter snakes, and every time we saw them, she kind of freaked out. Um, I think I'm I'm still a nay though, just because they're much more difficult to avoid than say like a bear. You know, mm -hmm. there's very specific ways on how to avoid bear attacks and how to act in a bear attack. Mm -hmm. But if a snake surprises you because they're in the tall grass, then, you know. So I'd probably at least keep my distance. I wouldn't, like, run, run. But, okay. <laughs> oh, you uh, yeah, so when I moved to Southern California, uh, I had so many rattlesnake encounters in the first year of my hike. I, I, I don't know why I kept on going after that. Yeah. I was so terrified. Um, but... After my first two rattlesnake encounters, uh, I got a lot more comfortable, and I, when I saw them, I just knew how to keep my distance. I wasn't freaking out. Yeah. To the point where I started to get a little bit more adventurous, and I'd hear some, like, not, I'd hear, I'd hear some rustling and some leaves, and I'm like, oh, what's that? Let me check it out. So, you know, I'd, I'd go, and I'd, like, go through the grass, and then I'd hear, like, it stop rustling, and then all is quiet. Suddenly, I'd hear a... <laughs> and then there's a I mean I'm, I'm on video there and I just run out of there that's mm -hmm. the wind wolves preserve video mm -hmm. yeah and I was just terrified from there and then after that I just started hiking smarter and I go into the mountains in the summertime and avoid the really hot places where the snakes were and then in the winter time I just go where it had moderate temperatures so I go to the desert and I go along the coast it was the best thing to do real quick there was a comment a question from David Tyre Sorry, I'm pronoun David Tyler. Uh, is there a great way for me to contact you via email? Send us a message on our Facebook um, yeah, page. We check that regularly. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be able to talk to you more about that. And thank you for uh, being a park ranger. That's a, that's yeah. a fantastic thing. Uh, to get back to Sean's question, I almost stepped on a copperhead in River Gorge one time. Ever since then, and seeing your rattlesnake encounter, I was kind of, I started having nightmares about them. <laughs> um, but I think the big key is just to avoid them, walk around them, yeah. and keep an, an eye out for them. And also, that, if you do get bitten by a venomous one, just stay as calm as possible yeah. and have someone get help. I will say, um, during the road trip, when we were canoeing, mm. um, and you mentioned water moccasins, I don't know, do, are, are water moccasins in the bayou? I think so. Well, well, you mentioned them, and when I suddenly became aware of the fact that there could be snakes, I was very nervous. During, mm -hmm. Well, I became way more nervous while we were doing about getting really close to like high the high reeds and stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah. We're just checking to see if the sound quality is low for everyone. Uh, oh. I feel kind of way the same way about spiders as I do for snakes, in that I don't want to interact with them, but when I see them, I'm just like, okay, I'll keep my distance because you're going to go Seems eat fine. little things. And, like, as long as, like, the only thing I'm scared of is ticks. And that's I, just because yeah. of well, disease. Yeah, and, it's, not, yeah. it's not from, yeah. like, the, oh, it's more of the, oh, yeah, this is a crippling disease. Yeah. I, I've decided oh, that, like, <laughs> any bug, if a bug does not kill me or give me a chronic disease or crawl in an orifice, I'm fine with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. a, I, the, the ticks used to freak me out because it's a spider dangling on your skin, but if it weren't for the disease, I'd be like, I'd let them dangle on me all day. Like, whatever. The, yeah. The one, no, the spiders are a little bit too much for me. I can take one or two, but what happened in Shawnee, that was something else where we were, oh, yeah. we were it was like the scene out of Indiana Jones where he's just climbing through the spider webs like this, just yeah. omens yeah, of yeah. dead butterflies hanging from rocks. That was the most extreme I've ever experienced. Spiders? No, just like wildlife and oh, yeah. heat yeah. and humidity. Even more than the bayou when we went canoeing. Yeah, well, I think it was partially, mostly time of year. Yeah, Because we true. were in like yeah. the height of summer. Like, everything was blooming, you know. <laughs> and as a warning to you guys, apparently, and me and Robbie think read this something similar, but apparently there's supposed to be a lot of ticks this year, right? Mm. Yeah, so be careful if you're going out there. Bring the permethrin, the bug spray, the and just check, check yourself. Yeah. yeah. Tuck your pants in your socks. <laughs> well, Ryan Valerio <laughs> says, what if honey and milk came from the other source? <laughs> so, like, if you were, like... Getting milk from honeycombs? That that would make milk a lot grosser, I think. Yeah. <laughs> like, honey would be fine still, but... Yeah. Any chigger encounters? Chigger um, encounters. Possibly. Well, well Shawnee yeah. might have been chiggers. We don't really know. We don't want to risk. Yeah. I'm sure Shawnee was chiggers. Like, I'm 100% mm -hmm. sure yeah. those were yeah. chiggers and not ticks. Usually when I see chiggers, they're, like, bright red. Right? No, no, no. You're thinking of... The um, mites, the little mites. Oh, Yeah, like concrete and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's... Right. The chiggers, you can barely see them, and then they itch like crazy. Why is that bar going down at the top? See that? So it'll keep them at the top chat, oh, I see. depending on how much they donated. Mm. And then once the bar goes down, it'll remove it from the top chat thing. When you boys going to van life it up? Van life. I would that, love that to do that, but... Van, uh, I don't know if I can... Like, oh. like kidding out of van to live in. That was oh. one of the things we were thinking about doing for the road trip was renting a like a like a big bus or like a small bus or a big van and throwing everything in the back. The problem is I had all my stuff anyway, and so it would have been just a regular car ride <laughs> with all my stuff in the back. Yeah. Farrell Jr. asks, any water adventures, kayak slash canoe? Yes, I think we are definitely thinking of water adventures. Um, well, we had Louisiana. Right, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was just oh, a yeah. small adventure. But uh, definitely wanting to go to Boundary Waters or maybe Isle Royale. Isle Royale. Also, we've talked about Manistee River once they reopen the loop. Um, <laughs> and for some Sorry, reason, I... Also reading <laughs> oh. <laughs> for some reason, I think canoes are just way better than kayaks. But... <laughs> Vince. <laughs> Vince said, Robbie always jokes that Andrew and Brian's apartment is messy, but I don't see it. That's the because that's literally because he, this was just cleaned off right no, before. The, okay, the reason <laughs> it actually, yeah, well, first of all, we cleaned that off, but the reason it actually is better here than normal is because Andrew was gone for the last three <laughs> yeah. days. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's messy. <laughs> it, it was, when Andrew went to L.A. early to hang out with Aunt, uh, Thomas, I cleaned the whole this place <laughs> this after, after two days, oh, this and like Andrew messed time. it up in two days. Uh, living in living in filth builds character. It's like, how are you you how, build your own character. How, you, how are you ever going to be in a third world country if you, if you can't live in filth? <laughs> Have you ever all been in an actual fight with each other? So like actual fist fight? No, not even close. No. And even plus, like, I would win. No. <laughs> plus, like no, in like an actual just like fighting with each other. It's never escalated it's like a full on fight. Yeah, it's always just like bickering. And we <laughs> laugh about yeah, it. Yeah, we've never gotten to the point but where it's think, like. Louisiana? Literally yelling at each other. We've Louisiana, never gotten no, that. It was Zion. 
I never got mad at you after Zion. Zion was like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was gonna say the one in Louisiana where Robbie snapped at you, and then we all started cracking. Oh up. yeah, <laughs> it's because like, yeah. it was like uh, you wanted to go film the area, and then we were like, okay, give us like fifteen more minutes. And it was like five minutes. I'd pass and like, okay, you guys ready? And Robbie goes, Thomas, what is actually wrong with you? And then he just like stormed out, and we all just started cracking up at everything. And it was just like, uh, I just needed to remove myself. From this we were laughing at just how predictable we all. Are. Yeah, it's we, uh, pretty funny. When we got back from the road trip, Andrew and I had spent literally a month at the hip, in a car, in the apartment, in a tent, whatever it was, together. And so, uh, we took three days. And then I was like, okay, let's start getting back to work. Let's do all this stuff. And Andrew just put an answer to his phone. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Thomas is calling. <laughs> so I need, I need a few more days. I think. I think me and Robbie would survive better than Andrew and Thomas oh, yeah. together because we would just, me and Robbie would just quote some Simpsons. Yeah. And we'd be like, oh, yeah, that's funny. Well, we did with <laughs> Always Sunny. We, we ended up, like, it was not nearly as bad as we thought it was going to be. No, hey, was... it's Eric Borgal. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. Yeah, Durant, oh, welcome. 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 Oh, I didn't know Super Chat had a 50 character limit. That does kind of suck. 2020 in oh. Chile and Argentina. Damn. Maybe. <laughs> well, that's weird. Some people have like a lot longer, like Sal. Sal delivered. Would you guys ever do anyway. some horse pack backpacking in the West? Um, we have talked about that from time to time. I don't know what the um, logistics of it is with, it, with regards to filming and uh, things There's like that. There's some horses but that are trained I'm, pretty well. Well, let's, let's just put it this way. If the opportunity arises, we will would definitely do it. If any, uh, if any of you happen to own a ranch anywhere with horses and you love our yeah. stuff and you want to yeah, invite yeah. us, we will make the drive. We will fly down if you can uh, teach us and uh, help us plan Hey, that. Ashley. Kino LaRoshi, this is the perfect time to, to try the fire techniques. Good time to go out. Beautiful weather. <laughs> what what that on your ice? chin, Andrew? <laughs> oh, the hair? Chin the scruff. <laughs> yeah, I haven't shaved in a... Oh, you're, that's why you're looking at me. Yeah, no. It's like some I, weird stain. I was like, what? Is there something on there? <laughs> or I thought you were still doing the... Um, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. The beard. I don't know this is just the extent of my facial hair. James Blackburn, James how Blackburn. you doing? Oh, oh, James oh. Blackburn is a, is a heck of a guy. Of a we guy. still got the yeah. rock candy from... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, where is it? Over here. We promise this is rock the... candy. It looks like something else, but it's definitely rock oh, candy. You're talking about the, I don't think it looks like one. No, 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 we don't have that. But Robbie's got that. Yeah. Tom thinks this looks like other drugs. But... Yeah, so this is a uh, hot green hatch chili pepper flavored rock candy yeah. made by the same lady who made the props for the Breaking Bad meth, at and, least in the first couple scenes. And James Blackburn helped show us around. So yeah. Yeah. if you get a chance, big, check big out props. James Blackburn's channel. Mm -hmm. Mad props to him. He's a reenactor, an actor. He's just a good guy all around. Towel block in the uh, thank you, Taro, for watching yeah. the video. Ooh, spring one. Um, that's not a towel, it's, a, it's like a curtain, and that's mostly to just kind of like stop all the heat from rising to the loft, because it gets really hot up there. Hmm. I used to know a James Blackburn. Oh, thank you, DJ Genki. We might take you up on that one day. Hey, James, we might take you up on that one, too. You got horse, we're going to arrange some horse packing. I want to see oh, you wait, maneuver your equipment through oh. the first canal in Mammoth Caves. DJ Genki, we actually passed through there. I don't think we realized you were from there until later. I knew he was oh, around, knew he was around we were, the area. Yeah. Yeah. We drove by that. I'm like... We talked about the name of the yeah, city. Yeah, Perumph. 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 Oh, yeah. It's like yeah. the uh, Blazing Saddles. I didn't hear a Perumph hey, out of you. John Mulberry, hello. Yeah. Welcome. Glad... Yeah, you're oh. you're working too hard for them anyway. Ryan Villarreal <laughs> asks a good question about who would you cast as yourself for, like, a autobiography. I would just have to go with Keanu Reeves just because I look <laughs> like him. Like, I couldn't pick anybody else. It'd be Who's too the good. guy in Walking Dead? <laughs> I want oh, that. Stephen Stephen yeah. Young. I want him. Just uh, tear his shirt off and <laughs> see you later, Sal. Um, Stephen Young. I don't know. Ian Griffith. I've already said that you look like him. Who's the other guy? Everyone says you look like. Oh yeah, like Mad Dog, McGee <laughs> or something. It's like a weird name. Yeah, like Chet Potato or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I've heard um Army Hammer. Yeah, Army that's Hammer. Army yeah, Hammer. Army yeah. Hammer. <laughs> 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 like, what was that? A uh, Navy. <laughs> Navy wrench, uh, <laughs> Air, Air Force. Oh, James Blackburn. I think he's Army. the one who said it Army. originally. Army. Army. Oh. We were on the road. I, I had heard from a couple other people on the air. Brian, do you have one? Or? I don't know. <laughs> Brian would be the Thunder I, God from uh, Big Trouble in Little uh, China. I want the first Jonathan team. Mulberry. <laughs> if the younger version of Chow Young Fat. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan Mulberry, thank you so yeah, much. That is hilarious. Nice. 
great. I don't know what that means still, but <laughs> Mr. Greeley said Danny DeVito. <laughs> dead. Inspect my gadget 69, what up? <laughs> <laughs> what? Where, where are people coming up with these brilliant names? Like, that is so funny. Inspect my gadget's an old school viewer. Um, Keith Yee, let me give you a, just real quick talking serious here. Uh, I would recommend checking out Salomon or uh, yeah, Salomon shoes. They're a little on the pricey side, but I, I love mine. I didn't need, it didn't take too long for me to break them in. They're waterproof. <laughs> They've gone from top of Whitney to Death Valley to Yellowstone to Algonquin. It, they're, they're, I love them. I feel like the I biggest would, factor is making sure it's fit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, w I would say, well, thank you, Tim Lawson. Tim Lawson, thank no you. No question. Just, oh, Nathan awesome. Lott, thank yeah. you for your comment yeah. really quick. Sorry. Uh, uh, to address Keith Yee's question, I use uh, Keen brand and... I'd never heard of them uh, before I bought them from REI, but I actually really, really like them, and they, they are still, mm. they're still getting me through a lot of trips, so maybe you can check that out, too. Jonathan, I'm just joking. I, I know what that means. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nathan brings up a good point. He says, just having 50,000 subscribers is really a shame. You need more viewers. I suggest that everybody go share our videos on <laughs> Facebook. And Reddit. And Reddit. And your favorite outdoor forums. Let, let me tell you a quick story. There's a fantastic kid out there who goes and films his own hiking. He just brings a GoPro and he talks about what he's feeling like in the tent. He got to the top of the front page of Reddit and now he has 80,000 subscribers. Oh, I'm sure it's probably yeah. Oh, you're talking 000. about that, that kid that was filming himself yeah. in the tent during the blizzard. Somebody posted yeah. his video when he had 600 subscribers. Yeah. Or like 200 subscribers. Now he has almost maybe over 100,000. I will, I will say, not, though, that he doesn't get the views. He has the subscribers, but he doesn't get the views. Yeah, and I'm not... That's I'm, being viral. But. And I'm not trying to put him down, because he makes no, good no, movies. No. But I'm just saying... Props to him, yeah. That's the, that's the power that Reddit and yeah, it, Tumblr and like the ability to go share things yeah. has. Really quick, since Tim Lawson had a super chat, he says, no question, just wanted to say the last video was excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You, Tim, Tim Lawson, again, thank you so much yeah. for the... I don't know if we mentioned this, but we did hang out with Tim Lawson in, in Nashville. Uh, in Nashville. Yeah. He treated us some Hattie B's. Hattie B's. Hot so chicken is so good. really good chicken, actually. Yeah. I was surprised. And if you want to see yeah. Andrew eat the hottest of hot chickens... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a special on Patreon. So on uh, Weekly Update... One of our weekly updates, we posted a video of me collapsing. So just go watch it. <laughs> you collapsing. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. Didn't you? Wasn't it like in one of the side videos or something? Oh, no, that was we're gonna, on Instagram we're, or Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I put a little you teaser. You put like a, a little teaser on Instagram. And it's going to go in the, uh, yeah. like, the like a clip of it's going to go in the full episode. So too. the meetup will definitely still happen. We will reschedule it, and it's going to happen in probably Columbus. Yeah, right? Definitely in, Columbus. About four yeah. weeks or so. I know that's always been a thing. <laughs> I, I promise yeah, everybody we do it before the end of May, but we might not do it before the end of May, but we'll definitely do it before the end of uh, June. Let, let's, let's pose this question. <clears throat> Memorial Weekend. Better or worse than a regular weekend for you guys? I say worse, but that's just my... It's my birthday? Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's the story behind the Scoop logo? And Jennifer, thank you, by the seven way. Oh, that's actually interesting. Let, let's answer that really quick, but okay. let me say, just say, Nathan Lott, um, we actually are hoping to connect with Joe Robinet at some point. Actually, we would love it if you guys could, like, send him, leave comments on his videos and... Harass him. No, don't do that. Don't <laughs> but, but, but like maybe suggest, uh, you know, do a little inception. No, we, you know, I did tell, I did tell Joe, and I have the beers oh, picked yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. We're gonna send because Joe is having, uh, having a new kid on the way. Oh, we're yeah. gonna send him some congratulatory, congratulatory beers. Oh, sweet. So uh, from Ohio. From Ohio, they're gonna be Ohio local beers. So we got to figure out the logistics of that. But congratulations to Joe Robinette on that. Okay, so so the Scoog logo, basically when Halo One came out. But that was that was the height of that was like the beginning of online gaming. So, Robbie created a clan called the Skoog clan, and the Skoog was essentially it's called Team Skoog. It's called Team Skoog, and the Skoog is what we called it when you got stuck with the plasma grenade in Halo. So, when Halo Two came out, we adopted the little logo of the Master Chief helmet with the sticky grenade stuck to it. So that's what the little comment is, and then yeah, I yeah. don't know why we continued using Scoog Productions for the videos. Just, but yeah, it just happened. Why not? <laughs> I don't think I think we've stopped using it since. But what what is the origin of that word though? Is there the any? origin is I was it was me just and two giblet. other friends were at my one friend's house having a sleepover. We played Halo all night, and at some point, my buddy Josh was invisible with active camo. He killed somebody, <laughs> and he just 
he didn't have words anymore because it was so late at night. He said, he didn't even see my skugu. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, skugu? What are you talking about? He's like, I don't know. It just came out. And then every time we threw a grenade at somebody, then we just started, we kept saying skugu. And then when we threw a grenade at somebody, we said skugu and then it became sku. Yeah. That's, that's like the opposite of credo. So, like, yeah. Because we but, added the O. But why do we Bong include Bong 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 at the end of... We just did it at the beginning because just we did, but we haven't done that for a oh, long yeah. time. We should do the handshake. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Thomas doesn't know it. <laughs> this I was is never, the helmet, you know? and this is the skugu getting stuck to it. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I didn't. I didn't. Um. <laughs> thank Jennifer. Thank you. Uh, someone earlier asked our favorite Indiana hike. I'm gonna say Morgan Monroe just because it was off trail, but they're they're all good. They were. Hoosier all good. was awesome yeah. too. Hoosier was great too. Yeah. I haven't been to Indiana. Like, really? No. Well, now it's time to go on one. Yeah, but Dolly Sods has got to be... Jennifer gotta... said Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly Sods at some point. I cut my hair months ago now, right? It was like yeah. February or something. James King, when you say OTR, do you mean Rheingeist? Or is there a different one? Uh, Nathan Crook says, I was going to watch my normal shows during my break, but this is much better. You are <laughs> incredibly flattering. Thank you so much. Uh, I recommend Ermel's from uh, Warped Wing Brewing Company in Dayton. Local Ooh. and good, even from a non-beer drinker. I've never had a Dayton beer, I don't think. Yeah, i got to try that out. Now. I wanted to do a Mad Tree. D let's obviously let's, let's have a BYOB stream next time. Yes. Ooh, Everybody yeah. BYOB, and we'll, we'll all talk about what we're drinking. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, I, I want to recount a story really quick. Um, one, of my friends, <laughs> one of my friends said that they went on a date with this guy who was like a super hipster, and he... She went to get a beer and came back and said, oh, what are you drinking? And she's like, oh, uh, Blue Moon. And he just, like, scoffed and was like, oh, typical. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my gosh. That's a good date that, right yeah, there. That's kind of the end of it there. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, that's like taking my beer elsewhere. <laughs> that's funny because, like, when I started drinking coffee more, I always was like, and I would put, like, sugar and milk in it. I was just like, I wonder if there's people out there who are seeing me, like, do that. And thinking, like, man, you're ruining that coffee. And we're like... I just want to enjoy the coffee the way yeah, I want to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. You know? Adventure oh, Archives Adventure Archives, Archives after, after Midnight, midnight. is back. Ooh, <laughs> no, 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 that's a different one. Yeah, this is a new one. After I, Dark. It's got to be the same I person, think, right? I think they've just forgot the password. <laughs> <laughs> a new one. And this is the second best thing we can, we can do. Um, just so you guys know, uh, we'd love to go everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so we can't, you know, if, if there's a recommendation, right, you know, right. feel free to send it to us. We'd love to go everywhere. I will yeah. say, uh, kind of on the docket, for me, I plan on making a trip to the east, going to up to Maine through Vermont and down. Did we talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. We, we want to make an adventure archives trip. I've, I've always talked about wanting to do an east coast road trip, and yeah. I think we, me and you and I talked about it during the road trip. And I think I'm, I might go and just, I got a lot of friends I want to go visit too, and so I might do some hiking there. Yeah. North Carolina, um, Asheville. Is it Asheville? Yeah, Asheville. it's Asheville. Um, I don't know. Asheville, what? Asheville, North Carolina. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that has Mount Mitchell, I think, which is the highest mountain east of the Mississippi. That's another place I'd like to check out. Um, oh, Christopher Williams said, I will make sure to thumbs up a comment on Joe Robinet's channel about collaborating. Everyone here should do that. Thank you. Wow. Um, on Joe's next video. Thank you so much, Chris Williams. Also, AJ? Chris Williams, I love your comments on Patreon. AJ, thank AJ. you so much for the yeah. $5. AJ, thank you so much, thank AJ. You so much. Thank thank you. Looking forward to what's in store for all four of you on your next trip. Thank you, AJ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We hope you enjoy thank it. Thank you so much. I've done a lot of uh, hiking and camping in New England, up through <laughs> the Canadian mar Maritimes. If you'd like some itinerary help, Wait, I might hit you up. William McKean said, don't. Don't what? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't, I don't sauerkraut know. is horrible, according to Nathan. Nathan, you just haven't had my sauerkraut, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you would be a changed Eat man. Sauerkraut, sauerkraut. <laughs> uh, Adventure Archives After Midnight likes Tomas's videos in Cali. TM Way eighty four says thank you, Thomas, for sharing the resting knee many videos ago. It helped oh, me so much. Glad you glad you like that. I don't know how well I've explained that, and if it's yeah, but thank you, Tom. Ace. Dude, I, you know I'm pretty sure it's Tim V. Adventure Archives After Midnight. It's got to be. Because he, <laughs> he, he wrote it like it's Tomas. Tomas's oh. videos in Cali. This, this is mm. the same Tim V we visited, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's got to be Tim V. Because well, when I said it, he was like, he knew that... He, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on to you. Adventure Archives oh, After man. Midnight. <laughs> Who is in the closet behind Mr. us? Mr. Greeley, that sounds awesome. Us? Oh, it's probably the sheet there. 
If you're talking about the sheet, that's a or stairwell. If you're talking about that, that's just a pantry. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure after midnight uh, conspiracy. I think I think I might go. I think I might hike Mount Katahdin in Maine as just like my own day hike sometime. Oh. Wait, is it Kat- Katahdin or? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think it's Katahdin. DJ Genki, I was actually just in Charleston. I don't know how far that is from Virginia Beach, but Yo Bear, Yo Bear, <laughs> <laughs> or Charlottesville, not Charleston. Um, in, in regards to, like, everyone talking about Maine and stuff, I, I really, um, this thought came to me one day, but I really do want to hike out. somewhere in New England, at least a few places in New England soon. Yeah, yeah. That's literally one area we You'll have not touched. Yeah, the Catskills, so. Adirondacks. Yeah. Um, Daryl Sablin asks, have you guys hiked the Tahoe area? There oh, will be... have we hiked the Tahoe area? No, we just... <laughs> there, there will be yeah. a cool side video. Katana, okay. It's so funny, because we did a hike right before going to ha- Tahoe that was super um, springy, and then Tahoe was all snowy. But... Daryl Anderson? Daryl Anderson, so thank much. you so much. Thank you so much, Daryl. Wait, that is, that's Yen, right? Daryl's our brother from Japan. Oh, he's in Japan. Right, right. Yeah. He's, he sent us all those goodies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Daryl, yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. In the episode, you're like, we got some Daryl Anderson tofu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we eat some of the some of the stuff yeah. he sent us. Was that, yeah. was that the uh, ramen that we just got? Was that no, that one? was from... Um, Expedition. Hmm. Ashley, where is the bourbon? Does anybody know the bourbon trail? Bourbon. Oh. Is that, um, in, is that in Kentucky? I think that might be in Kentucky. I Azrin? Yeah. Maybe. I want to. Yeah, let me know. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna Google that. I want to give a quick shout out to my friend Josh and Liddy, uh, Libby, because they actually gave us this tea. I, I wish I had brought it on Seneca Creek, but this is tea made with like naturally grown mint and all that. And we're gonna take it on in the next episode. But the Daryl Anderson tofu has made me think of that. Thomas is officially back. Yes, I've been back now for just just under a month. And now we're, well, we have, well, I don't know, I'm not going to say that, but we have a video coming up with an announcement about how we're working on the channel soon. Rudy's Rift, Kentucky? Oh, sorry, would be fantastic. Are you talking about so Kentucky, here. Ashley? <laughs> Ashley's my friend, by the way. So. Okay. Um, Rudy's Refuge soon, some, someday soon. Uh, DJ Genki, Hong Long is a patron. He's been like a patron since the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You guys should go to Hawaii, well... I'm going to Hawaii. Nathan Kirk asks, <laughs> when y'all gonna hike on the moon? You guys know LeBron James is on TV right now. Nathan Kirk, the, the moon thing was a oh, lie. Oh, that's we, funny. We, we had no idea LeBron James was on TV right now. Like, NBA playoffs going on right oh. now. Oh. Yeah. That's I would be the only person who had any chance of knowing that, but I didn't even know that. So. <laughs> Let's give a quick shout-out to Expedition Research yes. LLC, who sent us oh, a bunch yeah. of stuff. Sent us, like, these tea kettles. Uh, which we have six of them, so we're thinking about maybe doing a giveaway for a few of them. Uh, he sent us a bunch of interesting ramen, which will be our departure from it's our typical Mama. cup noodle. Oh, Mama. Mama! Mama! <laughs> Mama. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, and he sent us these Sawyer straw like straws. Like straws. Yeah. Which I, 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 I do want to try it at some point. So. Liberty Leslie, thank you so much. Uh, thank, thank you so much, Liberty Leslie. That means you've got to get a new feral Yeah, rod. seven bucks for a new feral, feral rod. It, it is wearing thin. I... I actually have where's, a good one. Where's but... the really nice one? No, I've got it. I've got that oh. one. Yeah. Oh, I, mine, mine, mine broke. One of us can get a new... Yeah, you really need one. I need a new knife. No, I don't uh, need real one. quick, this has been asked a couple times, so I can answer this. Is there a camera you would <laughs> recommend for begin- beginner videos? Uh, I actually always recommend the Canon T3i. It's not the best looking camera, but you can get it for super cheap, like How if you get now? it used. It's got to, if you get it used, it's got to be like 150 to 200 dollars. <laughs> Real cheap. But it's like a DSLR. You can. We used it at the beginning, like up until. Uh, Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Dolly Sod's Winter. That was the last episode we used yeah. it. So. Oh, it's cool. not. That's not 4K, but you know you're basically uh, Sleep getting the same city thing. nights. Sleepy city nights. Thank you so much. $20. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Talk cool one. You know, we were just talking about how we want to post more and yeah. make more stupid videos like that. Maybe we can post some old stuff to Patreon or I don't know. By the way, Ashley says uh, Bourbon Trail is a distillery in Kentucky. So trip, 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 trip. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, Ooh. <laughs> I'm all into that. What was my first starter Pokemon? Ryan Gra- Griffin. Grass Pokemon, Ooh. always. The DJ. DJ, DJ Genki. Thank you. DJ Genki. It's a McGriddle or two. <laughs> McGriddle. Nothing, yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Get McGriddles tomorrow, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's your first starter Pokemon? Mine was Charmander. Pokemon Red. That's true. It was, wasn't it? God, was yours boring. Blastoise? Or no. Grass or... Pokemon always, man. Oh, yeah. Bulbasaur, yeah. I was allowed to play Get Pokemon. Get my leech seed really? on. Really? I was <laughs> not allowed to play Pokemon. To the, the adult content was too... <laughs> 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 you know, I just think... I just think... They had a problem with people. My parents had a problem with people who were just always down looking at their Game Boy. And, uh, now that's you know, just a reality. Now, now, you know, good thing we don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> 
Kate's Cove. Did, that sounds so familiar. Did we that's drive right. by it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that. some, that's, okay. that's a big loop. Yeah, okay. Have you ever seen the movie 127 Hours? Is that the arm? Yeah, I, that scares me, man. I oh, seen yeah. It, yeah. I don't know about that. I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> Robbie, are you feeling left out on facial hair? Front? I did just see. I'll answer that in a second. I just did see uh, Maru. Did you see that? <laughs> Maru. Oh, Maru. I've gotten so many recommendations to see Maru. I know it's on Netflix. Netflix. Uh, I do want to see it. Mountain climbing movie. Really cool. Maru or Maru? Okay, hang on. I got to talk uh, about M E R U. I got to talk to uh, talk Kowloon about the new Red Dead Redemption. Cool one. Uh, I am a oh, cool one. That makes mm-hmm. a lot more yeah. sense. Uh, really excited. Really hoping that it's going to uh, satisfy that itch I'm going to have for the West on my screen, but I think I'm going to just end up being sad mm-hmm. because it's not the real thing. You, JJC, one we're just reading them as we go. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll read them as we go. If we miss your comment, please just <laughs> yeah. repost the comment. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the Vixter, I still haven't seen the 411 stuff, but we've seen lots of comments <laughs> about those, especially on our Yosemite vid. Brian, please rank the order of the four of you in the following. Best physical shape, wealthiest, most annoying, and most <laughs> faith-centered. <laughs> Oh, that's a good. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> Robbie's best physical shape. Best physical shape, yeah, Robbie. Robbie. Um, wealthiest. I don't. I don't not know about Robbie. That. I don't know. It will be Thomas <laughs> after his MBA uh, degree. <laughs> Maybe after I finish school. Most like, annoying. It's probably already Thomas. <laughs> uh, most annoying. Uh, it's a tie between these two. Uh, you put them together and they form a Voltron of annoying. Most face centered. We all believe in the faith of Greedo. <laughs> <laughs> we are all the most faith centered. Greedo. I just want to say you guys are awesome and quickly becoming my favorite YouTube channel. Your videos are relaxing, incredibly well produced. Thank you, Mike Gives Back. Thank you so Thank much. You. Can I take credit for introducing you to carne asada? Absolutely not. You you found out tacos <laughs> on your own and Wait, you, yeah. you you did that. Wait, oh the fries though. Was that carne an in and out thing? The smothered ones? No, I don't think I've ever had carne asada fries before. Oh. Thomas Vince Romero getting you a shout out. Hmm. Where? Right there. Doesn't get enough credit for his videos. Oh well, thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, Thomas. appreciate it. And Thomas, we, yeah, Thomas puts a lot of effort in his videos. I've actually always yeah. said that Rob puts a lot of effort into editing my videos. <laughs> no, I only started doing that recently because it used to be Thomas would shoot, edit, do all that stuff himself. It takes a lot to force yourself to go out yeah, and like hike yeah, yeah. and actually film. So the fact that you did it at all, well, thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. James King, I don't know if we have connected with Syntax Seventy Seven, but that's something definitely that we're considering yeah. for the future. Craig Betts, what's up? Uh, Andrew, best field guide for mushrooms? Oh. Some trees and plants. Um, so for mushrooms, I, I like the Audubon guide, but you're, with mushrooms, you're always going to have stuff missing. Plants, I would suggest Newcomb's uh, wildflower guide. <clears throat> There's also great um, Forager's Harvest and Nature's Garden are two great ones about edible plants. Mm-hmm. Um, trees, I don't have a great recommendation. I just have a local Ohio book. But yeah. Do the wave, guys. Oh, start, start it. Start, yeah. start it. We. And then back. Okay. Yeah, a little early. <laughs> that was more like a like a. That was like a yeah. A ripple. Yeah. <laughs> that was a babble. Where are you going next? Uh, have we thought about where we're going next? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm like Cumberland National Historic Park probably. Yes, I think we can probably call the call it on that. The yeah. Pa- the patrons have voted. And, yeah, we need oh, to okay. that. <laughs> yeah, the patrons have. Uh, we'll make one more post. And then... Yeah, that they've they've basically voted, but it's a it's a done deal now. Cumberland Gap. Uh, I'm rooting for Gettysburg. Boundary uh, waters, maybe. Boundary waters, maybe, maybe Iceland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, now that's, that's what was that noise? <laughs> it was a Pat Oswald. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daniel Lee, uh, we don't, but I don't know. That's if not, it, once it becomes legal, where you know, and it's more <laughs> sure, why not, right? I can tell you who does is a. Uh, I'm. I'm Rick Steve. Yeah, Rick Steve sorry. <laughs> Le- Liberty <Today>. Leslie. <laughs> Liberty Leslie says I'm a philosopher. Inspires hikers to look at plants. Thank you so much. No, very cool. Any uh, Nathan, I'm from Indianapolis. Okay. Kanye is a modern day philosopher. <laughs> Someone said that recently. Hiking with Sean. I, I would it's agree that... Um, I just left California. <laughs> <laughs> we de- I mean, obviously, we definitely do more hikes because of YouTube in general. Um, and I think... Uh, I think because of this channel... I'm just reading comments. You know, <laughs> Every so. time you laugh, I'm like, am I saying something wrong? <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel like be- doing this channel has really um, added a lot to our lives. Mm. In a, more ways than one. It's hard to say, but in very big part because of the people we're meeting in the comments and stuff. Yeah. 
Um, someone, Chris, I think earlier was asking, do you guys consider yourself pros? I think you definitely would in the filming department. Just yeah, because I are, do. Yeah. yeah, I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. Look it up in the book. Um, metal His detector. Guy. Aqua Trigger, that's a thing. First, just one I just saw. Oh, no, I just saw this fun. WS Blue says, funniest moment backpack. And then he said, everyone has to answer. <laughs> oh, that was funny. It was like, I command you. Oh. Um, but what was the funniest? Whitney, 10. <laughs> It's going to be I mean, that is Big really Sur, funny, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, something that happened in Big Sur. The tent, when Robbie screamed at me twice, oh, yeah. uh, by, with, like subconsciously just waking up from a night terror, yelling at me for no reason. Um, yeah. The time I brought 40 pounds worth of extra clothes on my first oh, my backpacking God. trip. Uh, I think a lot of the interactions we have are pretty Yeah, because I know there's times where we just start laughing super like hard. Zion yeah. was one of those, I think. Exactly. Well, at least for the three of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of times where Tom, or Rob and I will throw out a Simpsons quote and then we'll start laughing. Yeah. And then they'll be like, I don't get it. <laughs> We've got like these Venn diagrams of things we can quote and only certain, we don't have anything that everybody yeah. can quote. Yeah, it's like you and Me, Brian are Simpsons. Simpsons. Brian and I are uh, what, Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Kind of. Brian and I are uh, Rick and Morty. Or it's Rick one, Morty. two, three, Rick and Morty. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, he joined the Rick and Morty. He, yeah, yeah, he joined the Rick and Morty club. And then yeah. him you and I are uh, it's always, always, always sunny. sunny. Yeah. What, what do you and I watch? I don't think we have any. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> the two circles don't, don't, don't intersect. It's a weird Venn diagram. Yeah, there's lots of Venn diagrams. Have you tried pitching your tarp in a configuration other than A-frame? Yeah, so um, when we were in Shawnee with the really buggy Nathan. stuff, I put part of the tarp on the ground. Um, we've done a diamond pattern in the rain, you and I. Oh, yeah. That was in Dolly Sods, actually. Um, I've See also later, done Major. too. But I will say, I think A-frame is the best during bad weather because it's just stable and you're, it sheds the rain. Didn't we do something like that? Didn't we pretend to be like... Or was that during... I did that in Ikea. There were like wooden bowls that oh, I was um, clacking in. Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sorry. What weight limit do you guys recommend for hiking Zaleski? I'm hiking for the first time in three years, and I hear it's a lot of uphill. Um, Zaleski. I'm going to be honest. We did not hike a lot of Zaleski. I feel like we, we didn't touch on a lot of it. Ikea hike. <laughs> Those were terrible. Ikea. Yes, Ikea video. <laughs> um, That'd be funny. I got lost in Ikea the other day. Right. For the first time. Uh, my mom was like shopping for some furniture and we went there and then we asked somebody and then we're like okay we'll try to go out we literally went in a circle came back to the same lady and we're like we can't get out <laughs> um, I don't it... think Z oh, I'm gonna answer it Chris oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think Zaleski's that bad uh, so I would say 35 40? I mean I usually with water my packs are usually around between 30 to 35 and I that's less than what I had at Zaleski when we first did it mm. so I would say that's more than fine I'm going to answer DJ uh, Genki's question. Uh, have you ever been offered a sponsorship, or would you be open to one by an outdoor cl clothing or tent company? Thoughts on product endorsement? We kind of have a strong stance on we don't really want to create reviews because we don't find it fun, and not a whole lot of people find it fun. Mm -hmm. The only time we would ever really take an endorsement or be sponsored if it was a serious endorsement or a sponsorship. Yeah. You know, where it you know, they're picking up the tab on everything. They're helping yeah. they're actually becoming the producers. And also it's something we believe in. Yeah. 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 You know, we're not gonna probably just come up with some uh, Marlboro. Cheap, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cheap Chinese sponsored by Marlboro. Marlboro. <laughs> like yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't let um what what's the uh the one from Final Fantasy fifteen. Oh, oh Coleman. Coleman, yeah. Coleman. Like I wouldn't want a sponsorship from <laughs> oh, Coleman right. because Coleman. I don't like their stuff and I don't think they're okay. Ying, quality, Ying Bing, so. um I haven't I don't know if I've ever seen a good lightweight clear tarp, but that is kind of the reason I sleep in the tarp is so I can scoot over a little bit and look at the stars. <laughs> right sleeping there too. <laughs> Your list of favorite places on there. <laughs> Sponsor partner Viagra. <laughs> um, talk cool one. No, nobody no, they, has lost that, anyone. That is a big there. thing in this these parts. I think like just the Midwest in general. Thomas the next Marlboro man. <laughs> oh Zach, I saw the Portillos next to IKEA, and uh, I wanted to try it out because I've heard it's really good. But there was like a line going out of the drive-through, so I said, no thanks. Sleeping Bear Dunes would be pretty high up, though, especially Manitou Island, just to answer that. Yeah. So, oh, actually, yeah, I have a lot of good memories from Sleeping Bear Dunes just because of vacations we took there when we were That's where we started the cheesy yeah. pictures, which yeah. eventually led to Adventure Archives. Yeah. Too. Here's a good question from Rogue. Uh, which one of you wrote your theme song and any thoughts oh, on updating it? Oh, this is a great one. Yeah. Interesting. So, so, can I? Oh, I don't know. We can all. 
But the theme song started out. So me and Rob were trying to come up with something, and then Brian. I wrote a this, guitar song. Yeah, I actually still and you have the flute file. To it. Yeah. I still have it. And it's this like really bright sounding. Da, 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 da. Me and Robbie really liked it as soon as we heard it, but we wanted to make it a little minor key, so so it's like more of that dark adventure sound. Yeah. And then we got it, and I played the flute on that. Brian played and the you guitar. Were, weren't you guys in Indiana when yeah. you did that? So you're like, Brian, can you record something like this? And you played something on a keyboard, and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then. Uh, after season two, we added more to that yeah. electric guitar yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I think. Uh, and the marimbas. Mm -hmm. Do you, but you guys are you guys gonna update it? If we have time, well, Robbie, we're gonna re-record it. We're gonna yeah. re-record yeah. it. It's not gonna so change, that it's right? better quality. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but we've I, all decided that the the intro or our intro music, we somehow got so lucky on the first try and came up with something really great and memorable and that really sounds good. And so we weren't gonna change it. I really like kind of what Game of Thrones does. Each season, they change it just a little bit. It's obviously the oh, same Oh, do they really? I think they really? do. They change do they? it, just, they tweak it a little bit. Well, uh, I, don't well I, don't, I don't know if that's true, but every that, Every that's intro cool. will yeah. have the location. They, of... they emphasize certain instruments more, I think, oh. during other seasons, make it grander and grander and grander. Oh, here's, here's fun fact. If you play the Smash Brothers 4 theme song, yeah. and then listen to our theme song, oh, they're very yeah. similar. Da -da -da. And I think what happened was that I was subconsciously channeling that because we were looking forward to that game at the time. Oh, wow. oh really? Yeah. I don't, yeah, probably. James Blackburn, I think I dipped something in a ranch at some point. Um, <laughs> planning on collabing with other backpackers, YouTubers? Yes, absolutely. Um, you love the guitars. Uh, what GPS do we use? I don't know, Andrew. Do you know what it is? Uh, it's oh, Spot. It's the Spot. company yeah, Spot. Spot GPS. Okay. Um, Budget Bushcraft, thank you for your comment about the Indiana visuals, by the way. Uh, thoughts on hiring editors to push more videos and focus solely on backpacking or thought of losing control of your videos is too yeah, much to lose. Yeah, yeah we've talked about this in depth. And, yeah. and that's actually something that we're now working on is because we're all here now, this is something we're going to work on on a more day-by-day -day basis yeah. rather than doing it part-time, Yeah, which is something we're going to talk about very soon. Ryan Villarreal asked tomato or tomato. It's actually pronounced Thomas. Thomas Sonar. <laughs> <laughs> Potato or kartoffel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a kartoffel is. <laughs> Check out Culture Coast Trail in Maine. And Cutler. The, Cutler. Oh, Cut, yeah. Cutler. Thank you. I dislike you. <laughs> Grafton Loop Trail as well. Have videos on Eastern Backpack Tomas. on Facebook. Tomas. Very good. We'll Tomas. have to check those out. <laughs> oh, it is? Did you know that some German people call egg, an eggplant uh, aubergine in the UK? I did not know they that. They also spell tire with a oh, Y. Oh, I've seen that, yeah. Tire did you know one? that? Elevators are called lifts. <laughs> <laughs> and French fries are chips. Jordan Howard, I think I have seen some of the stuff, at least from my self-reliance, for sure. Oh, Chris Matson loves the electric guitar and the theme. Cranks his telly up to 80 for the intro. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's awesome. It's 9.58, guys. We'll go for however longer, but if you got final <laughs> questions, please oh, answer them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's get those questions answered. And also, so after the stream is over, we are putting up the preview. Yes. And uh, if you do want to watch the full episode, patreon.com slash adventure. So what, what, all right, let's really quick just talk about Patreon. I know it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not a thing people love talking about, but we do have a I lot. I like talking about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some good stuff on there. You can watch Andrew uh, collapsing on the ground. Well, from Matt Williams asks what our five-year goal is, so that kind of relates to Patreon yeah. anyways. So. I, we don't have a specifically five-year goal. Yeah, not, nothing specifically five-year, but... We'd like to, yeah. we'd love to, I guess, in the next year or so, hit 100,000 subscribers, because once we start hitting those numbers, then YouTube views start to become, you know, we get to start getting more, we start getting more income from YouTube, right. which is pretty unsubstantial right now. Yeah. Um, you know, we have fantastic fans, fantastic viewers. The views, while we might seem like we have a lot, we really don't have enough to start paying for it on themselves, which is why Patreon is so important to us. Right. But also on Patreon, that's why you know we do release a lot of unique there's, content. There's out fun there. stuff. Yeah. Like, like you get weekly updates. And, yeah. Weekly yeah. updates. Uh, if you want to chat with one of us, just one on one, we have uh, uh, a live stream. Live every stream week. every week. Yeah. Every week with somebody new. So if you want to talk to Andrew one on one. Or one on however many. Not that many either. It's maybe thirteen. It's very interesting. Yeah, we usually get anywhere from like 
15 to 20, 20 these, people. These at smaller one time. live streams create an intimate and familiar <laughs> environment. Uh, um, I just wanted to hit bloopers, the answer here. Bloop, bloopers, commentary. Yeah. And uh, we, we, we started putting people's pictures in our videos from Patreon. Okay. Yeah. One quick thing, it's if you guys ever want to like jump in the Patreon, check everything out, you can always do $2, jump in, check everything out, watch the re l latest early release, and then after you get charged for that month, you can always cancel. So you yeah. don't have to like be committed to it or anything. And $2 uh, is me. Really quick, WS... Oh, yeah, someone was that. asking if we could get a... Yeah, WS Blues. So we wanted to show you guys a sneak peek <clears throat> of the video of the next episode and the stream, but we couldn't get the software going where it lets us... You could handheld something? No, no, but we have something, right? As soon as we're done with the stream, we're going to publish a, uh, a little yeah, yeah, trailer. Yeah, 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 I'm just saying, he said for the stream faithfuls, and I said we'd like to show you during the stream, but we just can't, we don't have the software working where we can, like, literally show you what's on the screen right now. I couldn't get open broadcast software yeah, to work, so, right? so we're sorry using about a different that. program. Hey, yeah, yeah. Robbie, I got a quick question for you. Have you ever considered making a video on Angel's Landing? I sure have. have you? <laughs> I have. You can go to my vlog channel by searching Robbie Huang on YouTube. There's a video called Angels Landing Zion National Park. Or you can stick around for a few months and we'll come out with a Yeah, you'll the see full the full, video. Yeah. which yeah. will be uh, contrasted by Brian and I's hikes through the Narrows. Yeah. William yes. McKean. William, thank you very much. Yeah, thank William, you so thank much. you so much. Still Banff, love to see you, Banff. We're working on it. We would love it. to yeah, go to Banff. We're working yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banff is high on the list. Let's just put it that way. Okay, Steph Law, for anybody who doesn't know, so when we come out with a new episode, we always release it to patrons first, so they'll get it two or three weeks early. So those are the people who go to patreon.com slash adventure, they pay $2, they can see the episode early. Then we always release it to the public on usually the first of the month. So all of our stuff will always be public, free on YouTube. It's just early for people who are patrons. So yes. don't ever worry that you're getting locked out of like real videos. Yeah, the, the, the full no. episodes yeah. will always... We, we wouldn't want to do that anyways because we... It's like we work too like, hard. Yeah. We yeah. like... Like yeah. if we locked we it to Patreon, to then why would we only want 500 people watching this video we worked so yeah. hard on? The, the only thing that we really keep on Patreon is the behind the scenes yeah. stuff. So if you want to see me goofing off, if you want to see us giving kind of our honest opinion on an episode, what we did right, what we did wrong. It's basically a DVD extra kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. In an age where DVDs are and obsolete. to further answer <laughs> exactly. her question, the next episode that is early released right now will be out June 1st. Right. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then I saw another question that got repeated. Uh... Does it get annoying to go back and get the camera after certain background camera shots? <laughs> These guys do it the most. Sometimes I turn around and I'm ready to go get it, and then the Andrew's like, I got it. It, it can definitely be, though. Uh, actually, it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll say that my first time filming by myself in Manistee or doing the majority of the filming, there were times where it would get annoying just because mm -hmm. it's like, you, you, you know, when, you, when you're hiking, you get into that groove, yeah, right? Yeah. So you're walking forward, and then suddenly you realize you have to go back up and get the camera, especially if it's on an uphill. It sucks. Talk uh, cool one. I think Robbie likes basketball. That's about it. But. I kind of used to like basketball. <laughs> Chris Matson, it's two dollars to become a patron. It's only you're only charged every time we release a full episode. Right. So yeah. that's usually like one and a half months. Every one and a half months. Yeah. yeah. But we're trying to get it up to one every month. You you yeah. get a lot with the two dollars, and then beyond that you get more stuff. But yeah. I think the um, I think the commentary is pretty cool. WS Blues, do we plan on doing merch? Yeah, the commentary is really fun. Um, do you plan on making any merchandise? Well, yes, we do. Yes. So our current plans is, yes, we will have T-shirts. We have and, some design. We and they're currently yeah. designing some. We want to have one design, kind of representing each person, mm -hmm. yeah, and then yeah, one like design as a whole for the channel. We're kind of going through the log logistics of that, but we should have something up in, in June. Okay. You heard him. In June, guys. That, that's, my, that's my job now. <laughs> DJ Genki, thanks so much for joining us. Have a good night. I don't want to send people away, but I am going to post a link to the trailer because we did promise some yeah. live streams. This hasn't gone public yet, but it will go public very soon. So Inspect my no, never sync. Oh, sorry. Never sync Outdoors says, the Patreon channel has Thomas hashtag uncensored. <laughs> <laughs> never, never sync. We actually have had patches as a Patreon incentive at one point. Um, so you could see a return of patches eventually as yeah, merchandise. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Inspect my gadget. Uh, could one of the rewards be a signed love note from Thomas? Thomas, could it? Um, you know... Just every item will come with that. The... Yeah, every t-shirt will have a little oh, note. John Thomas. Maitland, thank you so much. John glad Maitland. to be a subscriber. Scub Scubber. Scub Scubber. <laughs> We're glad to have you as a Scub Scubber. Yeah, thank you so much. 
Thank you so much, John. John Maitland's our yeah. mate. <laughs> I want an official Andrew Lynn poop kit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a. It, it, comes, it with, comes with a bag with a hole in it. It's like a cardboard <laughs> box with like the paper stuffing inside, and it's like a rock. It's got like moss, rock, oh, and like leaf. water, and the no, water is like used to be snow. <laughs> it's a box, and there's nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> so figure yeah. it out. That's good. That's good. <laughs> All right. Well, I have posted a link to the trailer for the new episode. Uh, go ahead. Feel free to check it out. Uh, we're going to release that publicly probably in the next 10 minutes after we end this live stream. The uh, trailer. Yeah. The trailer, yeah, yeah. yeah. So go ahead and check it out there. If you like what you see, please consider yeah. joining Patreon. Uh, it helps us out. You know, you know, we're starting to go a little bit more full-time on this, so every bit helps us produce more videos full-time. And also, yeah. you, if, even if you're signing up for this episode, you get to scroll back and see the other behind-the-scenes. Yeah. Yeah. It's an embarrassment of riches. Okay. That's enough. Um, <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to use that phrase. M, M Bikes Rule, yes, this will be archived on our channel, so you should be able to rewatch it. Mm -hmm. James King, it's like it, you're, not, you're not, um, you don't need to do Patreon. We just feel like it's yeah, important yeah, yeah. to mention it. But if you do want merchandise, like I said, we will hopefully have some stuff. I think it'd be cool to get some merchandise out of there anyways. For real, though, we do appreciate all your yeah. support, whether or not you are. Yeah, if you just watch, if you just subscribe and you watch, that's Yeah, that's you're great. doing us a like, lot. Yeah, yeah and, and just coming here to talk is great. Favorite non-Sonic Sega games, Panzer Dragoon. Uh, if you don't have one, you don't have I never played I just Sega. Oh, Sega Metroid Prime. Metroid Dragon. Prime. Metroid non-Sonic Sega games. Oh, Sega games. Come on. Oh. Come on. I have no idea. He was he was born after the great <laughs> Nintendo yeah. Sega Wars. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Esther, thank stories. you so much for the comments on the new Seneca Creek episode. An episode of Broad with Thomas? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, it's about time. Maybe oh, Iceland. right, yeah. yeah I, I come from the land of the Iceland. Oh, an Adventure so... Archives hat. That would be kind of... I would wear an Adventure Archives hat in our episodes. Cool. I'd love that. Lightning round. Okay, lightning round. Yeah, let's do it. Mother's Day AA episode next year. Uh, we did, if we, we can muster it, sure. Did, we do, any, not, did yeah. we do anything special for uh, Adventure Archives? I went to Day? Mammoth Cave with my mother and my brother's family. Uh, had I kids. Did not. So, yeah. Well, I left it. Well, I actually I am hoping to have a cooked dinner at home. I uh, I took my mom to a lovely vegan place in Louisville, Kentucky. So uh, you know, good old Louisville. Had, right, how, about, time. how about for lightning round? Ask us questions that are yes or no answers. Um, okay. Oh, oh, yes oh. or no lightning question. Yeah. Lightning round. <laughs> but really quick, favorite overall movie? I think it's Princess Mononoke for me. Blanca. Street Street Fighter Two character. <laughs> <laughs> favorite overall movie? Office Space, because I can relate to that so much. Lord of the Rings: Return of the Kings. Truman Show. Sarah, no, I just am restless. I don't know. <laughs> Pepperoni. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes or, or no, no questions only. Oh, sorry. Well, let's say the question <laughs> so we know what okay. you're answering. <laughs> Have you thought about doing longer trips? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Is this statement true? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tree and plant book from A. Yes, yes. no. No. Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thomas, will you, you marry, marry him? Me. Inspect my gadget 69. If you tell me who you are, we'll talk. <laughs> Well, you've got to inspect his gadget first. <laughs> Crab walk out of the tent. Watch Black Mirror. No. Only yes. Robbie's because it's yes. so small. Yes, Black Mirror a little bit. Backpacking no. trip with subscribers. Uh, yes, boy. eventually. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. yes. Yeah. The subscribers won't know what they're... Meaning of life, 42. Would you ever through hike? Uh, possibly. Go yes. to Guatemala? I have been Section to Guatemala. Section hike, yes. Through hike, probably not. Just a -A hat, eventually. Coastal sailing trip? We'll die. Japan, yes. <laughs> Robbie going to Japan in the future? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Beef, chicken, or pork? Yes. <laughs> Sweden, why not? Definitely Boundary Sweden. Waters, talk, what are you talking cool about? and lamb. lamb Boundary or, waters, or definitely. Yes. Yeah. Chicago. Chicago, yeah, sure. In, in, in different. I like the food Japan, there. I would love to go More to Japan. Japan. Yes, definitely on Japan. <laughs> Andrew, that was not a yes or no. Ah, I'm out. <laughs> I can't answer it. <laughs> I've had Peruvian chicken. What hammock or chop do I have, Brian? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's... um. Hennessy, asymm asymmetrical bottom entry hammock. Is hiking considered? Have you ever been to Jamaica? No. What's the rivers two X plus four? Don't know. <laughs> Pistachios, yes. Antarctica trip, maybe. Minnesota, yes. Am I scared of Thomas? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Upgrade your gear? No, I like where my gear is right now. Write a book, maybe. Yes. Do you guys have girlfriends? We answered yes that already. Yes and no. Scroll <laughs> yes back. No. Zion, Utah, uh, yes. We did. Boxers or briefs? Yes. Who, who archives <laughs> the adventures? Boxers. <laughs> oh, who archives no, briefs. the archives? Boxer okay. briefs. Boxer briefs. Southwest Daily Ohio. vlogs. Okay, let Who me address this one. Daily vlogs. Henry Kwan, we have actually, I've actually proposed this idea of maybe having a second channel where we have more kind of behind the scenes type vlog videos just for fun. Uh, very early in the idea process, but 
it has I have talked about it. We need we need to make more videos on a regular basis before yeah. we start doing that. Uphill hiking in the well, rain in the Smokies. Yes or no? I understand that. We've <laughs> talked about this. Um, yes. Pineapple and pizza. Yes. No. Yes. Also, yes. no Andrew choosing what ingredients are in pizza. <laughs> uphill, uphill hiking in the Smokies in the rain. Yes, until I'm doing it. Pooping in the woods. Yes. Hiking the Thomas, South. Yes. No. <laughs> New England. No. Favorite patron. Yes. Where's Greedo? Why is Greedo? Greedo oh, is with is us that? at all times. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> more Michigan trips. Yes. Chicken or egg? Well, that's stupid. <laughs> Clearly, it was the chicken. <laughs> Greedo yes, is here on But where did the chicken come from? Uh -huh. The egg. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Saliva or India? Oh, an ab workout. No. Uh, it's probably a butt workout. <laughs> Sativa and Nernica. Uh, uh, Indica. Indica. Hollow, solo movie? Yeah, we got three tickets to see the solo movie. I don't know about Robbie, though. Hammock or tent? Tar I'm, I'm going to go sometime. <laughs> <laughs> rent our own. Rent. My God, you don't want that trouble of owning. Owning what? Oh, oh just in general. MMORPG, uh, Destiny doesn't is count, your, so no. Is your screen continually getting more... Yeah, it's flux. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Blood Gulch or Silent or Blood Gulch? Blood Gulch. Not Does even Thomas a question. Thomas have Asian envy? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're uh, ten fifteen. Is that a good ending time? Okay, ten fifteen is the ending. Oh, oh, oh hey, 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 pineapple yeah. pizza on me. Yeah. From Chris. Yeah. Thank All you right. so much, Chris. <laughs> Rage two trailer. Have not seen it yet. I never even played the first one. Okay, no for Japanese beer. Yes for German beer. Mm. Yes for both. I'm gonna go no. Yes for both. Yeah, both. Are... Oh, oh, He's yeah. Saying, he means oh, okay. I'm gonna say no because I like. Uh, it's a nice a, and light. A lighter beer. Mm, I'm going to go with no just because I'm more familiar. But that, <laughs> a yes for that one that we, we might have. as well just answered it normally. The chocolate. <laughs> Where are you located? Still using the outdoor vital sleeping Taco and drop. beer. Pizza My and beer. Yeah. Micah, yes. We actually, me, Andrew, and Robbie all have one now. I love it. Whiskey or whiskey? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, Second one with I, an E. Yeah. Ever thrown a controller? Yes. Maybe? I don't remember. That's so when I was trying to get the Scarab gun. Oh, I made you throw a controller <laughs> when we were playing Smash. Remember? Oh, that too, yeah. <laughs> Are you guys going to watch E3? Yes! Yes! yes. That's not even a question! REI, yes. Are we going to be at E3? No. We, we, don't, we don't sponsor REI in any way, but I, I've always had good experiences. Was that your Sapporo? Oh, Sapporo. Sapporo. Wine or beer? Sapporo. Both. Yeah. Wine or Kimchi or sauerkraut? Kimchi! Both. Two extra toppings! Kimchi. Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> More pizza tonight, guys. <laughs> Indian or Mexican food? Oh, Indian. Spider bath or centipede bath? Spider oh, bath. Oh, God. Spider bath. Ugh. Shaved head or long hair? Long hair. Yeah. Long hair is pretty fun. Mm, yeah, long hair. Everyone has to take a shot before the stream ends. All right. Okay. I'm not. I, I'm, no. Somebody's going to take a double for me. <laughs> no, that's not me. Which Get is the are you most excited Neither. for? Always Nintendo for me. Okay. All right. Spice. Hey, James, hey, Blackburn. James Blackburn. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you so Again, much. Again, James Blackburn. Come and we'll go with the, the way green too nice chili. of a guy. Yeah. Hot oh. green chili. You know what? I won't take gin a shot, and tonic. but I'll take one of those. Okay. This is a gin and tonic for that shot, guy. Robbie, why did you Close cut your hair short? Uh, it was time. Oops. Okay. It was time. Did you say anyone? something about how like it never really panned Andrew, out? Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Chris Madsen imagined it. Thomas for Andrew, arm wrestle winner, Thomas. One ninety nine. Keep it nice and beautiful. Thank you. I'll arm wrestle anyone here. And would you or I win an arm wrestle? You would. Really? Yeah. I, Brian I, can attest to I've lost every arm wrestle. Arm no. Okay. <laughs> he would be like, boom. <laughs> Ashley Best, would you do this again with shots? That's, you know, for Patreon live stream. Yeah. That would be a okay. great idea. That would be a ne great next, idea. Okay, next live stream, we're going to have a themed live stream. So it'll be like a pizza party with BYOB. Didn't you talk about this on your live stream? I, I Pizza party, one. BYOB, <laughs> we're going to have a good time, okay? <laughs> next next Patreon live stream, even if it's just me, I, I'll be, I'm going to come up with a game where I take a shot of something when the comments do something. I'll think of it. <laughs> Every donation, <laughs> take a shot. And you have to figure out what's, what it is. It's so like, sign up on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was no, 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 every, every super chat donation. <laughs> sorry, no, shot. no. No, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. <laughs> no. It's an awful oh. idea. Well, I'll do it. You'll play bartender. Are you actually going to be in town, Ashley? If you are, let me know. All right, well, I'm not taking a shot, but what is this? Wait, do you know her? And this yeah, we used oh, to work. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, James Blackburn, when we were uh, we were in... That looks way greener than it used to be. Yeah, where, where were we? We were in... Albuquerque. Albuquerque, yeah. Albuquerque New Mexico. James Blackburn showed us around. We stopped by Ninja. a candy shop. Uh, this is a hot green chili candy. Hard candy, I guess, so I'm just going to try it. It's chili flavored. <laughs> Ever quit smoking cigarettes? We never started. <laughs> Who wins at Monopoly and gets accused of cheating? Nobody's ever finished a game of Monopoly. Brian wins at every game, though. 
Yeah. Oh, God. Do I? Yeah, he wins. I feel like he did. Oh, this is right. your first time trying this? Ninja. Why? Um, and Ashley, make sure you call or text me when you're in town then, If you please. think of it like hot chili jam, it's good stuff. Yeah, it's fun if you think of it like a... Thanks so much, Feral Junior 7. It's 10, 10 15. Swedish salt licorice, no. Bill Burr fan, sure. Okay, so okay. final <laughs> thoughts. Anything um, you want to impart on people besides patreon.com slash adventure. Go there, sign up, check out lots of great <laughs> stuff. <laughs> See the episode early. Yeah. I, I am actually going to do that for, I think I'm up for the next live stream on Patreon, right? This come, next Monday? Technically, yeah. So I am going to have a drinking game for you all and me to play. So <laughs> be there. Be okay. there or be square. Two more minutes. WS Blues wants two more minutes. All right, you've got final two thoughts. minutes. Final thoughts. Um, I love doing these live streams. Yeah. And yeah, I'm so fun. glad. Everybody who participates in these live streams, thank you so much. It's really <laughs> <That's> inspirational. <laughs> <That's> inspirational <laughs> quote. I'll think of one. I'll think of one. Do re quote your uh, Yellowstone ending. Mosquitoes do suck. Yeah, mosquitoes suck. What else would I be doing? I'd be watching TV and oh not God. really doing anything. <laughs> yeah. I've watched that scene so many times. <laughs> um, I'm, I got one final thought. Everybody go to YouTube and type in Robbie Huang into YouTube. <laughs> yep. Find my vlog channel and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yes, if you're not do, a vlog you subscriber, you should check that out. There's always lots of stuff you don't yeah. see in the episodes. Yeah, that's There's a lot of behind, yeah. behind the scenes check stuff. Check out his stuff. And if you haven't yet, and if you want to see where we are live in the moment, I would say go to the Adventure Archives Instagram page, yeah. and or go to my own Instagram page. Um, I, you know, I post a lot of my own hikes there. That's the only time I'll ever dab in my life. I'm not okay. dabbing. Uh, <laughs> don't uh, go to our Twitter. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go to our Twitter. Maybe one day we'll resuscitate it. Uh, my 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 Instagram is Grievous Guy sixty four. <laughs> Grievous Guy sixty four. But make sure you check out Robbie's. I like walk. Tim Lawson's uh, quote. Yeah. A lot more effort in yeah. Robbie's vlogs. All of all the paths you take in life, make sure that some are dirt. Ah, oh, that is good. Mm. Osmo Tar says Arnold Schwarzenegger before a game of chess. I'll be black. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree with Camp someplace. <laughs> yeah. There's a. Oh, never sink. I didn't realize you were here. Have you heard of um, my brother, my brother and me? The two of the people work at uh, Polygon. But one of the oh, guys. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever he does his dabs, he's like. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> 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 um. Thank you so much, TM Way eighty four. Thank you so much. Cool. Okay, so I think that's it. Yeah, I guess we've gone two minutes over. Oh, hey, that final two minutes. Good life. Luke's Luke's home tube just arrived. What's next for you guys? All right, so in the pipeline, in terms of main episodes, we've got our road trip coming up after Seneca gets released publicly. We don't know where we're going for our next main trip, but we were. We're very likely to do Cumberland Gap, historic, national, whatever. Um, wait, what was Gettysburg? Uh, dark monetization. <laughs> no, that'd be fine. Oh, <laughs> nice. That was a John Miracle. Okay, sweet. Robbie, want, they want some oh, dance moves. If you uh, want we, to we all have to dance, okay? No. We're going to dance it out, guys. Uh, Thomas won't join you need us. Hold on, let me make sure it's wider. Thank you, Lex. <laughs> Live from Columbus, Ohio. It's, uh, Adventure Archive. And then the viewer count like drops like zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining the live stream. Thank you so much for all your support, all your views. Thank you. Uh, have a great night. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> that's that's you, fifty. Anyway. That's five hundred percent more dadding than we needed in this. <laughs> Hold on, we'll on. We can we can do some moonwalking. Right? Yeah, yeah. I can moonwalk. They can't see my feet. <laughs> Actually, ready? <laughs> Much easier when it's slippery. It's like... All right. Are we still live? That's where I guess we still are. Now we know why only some have girlfriends. I'll see you guys <laughs> later. Oh God, I can actually dance. Like oh. when I jump around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Robbie is a professional dancer. <laughs> you are the best dancer out of all of us. I didn't know you could moonwalk though, didn't you? Not, not, not no, I've been trying to do that for a long time. How do, how do, am I stopped? We, eight years. Remember the I don't know if we're stopped. I guess it, it says we're live. We're still streaming live. <laughs> we're just like, abort, abort, abort. <laughs> yeah, I don't do each That does seem like it's over.
Nope, it's still going. No, it's still going. All right, all right. Rod. Thomas, get out of my way. I'm dancing here. <laughs> no, you have to press one of these things. Oh, my God, abort. Pull no, the plug. No, I, I don't the think plug. that was the one you just pressed. Oh, you have to hit here. Bye.